what is the history behind the Soul Bowl? Uh, the history is, basi is basically the, uh, the two Dunbar teams, all the kids from the Dunbar community, from my community, and they playing against each other. Family members on, from, on both on both teams, you know, and uh, can't leave, can't can't forget about the chilies and the dance and the dancers, you know. That's big too in our community. So what's the meaning of the Soul Bowl for you, like, like you know what I'm saying? When you hit a Soul Bowl, like, what effect does it have on you? Everything, you know, if, pretty much whoever wins the Soul Bowl, pretty much gonna get all the best kids the following year. So us, when we come to the Soul Bowl, we expect to win. You know, we always want to build and get better every year. It's like a city, you know, it's a city, it's bragging rights for the city. Who do you feel like um, for the Firecats team, you, man? Who do you feel like are the star players, and how do you plan to stop their key players? Well, number one, I'm going to go Big Baby, number 10 for them. One of my former kids, you know. I feel like he's one of the key kids. From watching film, I seen him on the defensive, defensive line, and I seen him at running back, and I also seen number six, which is, he was a... Uh, the receiver, and I guess linebacker. So do you have any adjustments that y'all probably gonna be making from week one? Are y'all probably running the same type of plays? Or what? What you what you got planned? Whole different formation. You know, every week I got something new coming out. It's never the same. Do you have any message for the Firecats, 10 staff Stafford team before y'all get into the Saturday? Listen, y'all better be ready. Get your popcorn ready, man. It's going down. We want all the smoke. And remember, y'all ain't like us. We different. Hey, you know we coming to stand on business, man. It's Big Falcons. You know, Coach JD taught us what to do, man. It's Big Falcons. Defense jumping too. It's big